in today's video, we're opening a massive box of graded cards that will be for sale on my website. What's up guys, we're back with another consignment opening where we actually don't just have graded cards, there's a few other things as well. And there's something I need to rant about as we're going along, but before that, we have a giveaway. Clint, who is the guy who sent in this consignment, has a giveaway specifically for you guys. So here we go. He has a new Insta, so here you go. Here's his new Insta, CM underscore TCG 710. Okay, I got two things I'm gonna rant about because <laughs> I just got a notification. Okay, this is a massive giveaway. We have giveaway here. Giveaway one. Get why are there so many giveaways? Oh, is this multiple people? Man, you are Clint. Clint, you're putting more, you're making me work hard. Okay. I'm gonna have to ship four different people. Is that what you're telling me? Five? Wait, no, wait. Is this what is this one? That's five. Five giveaways. Oh my gosh. Let me read the note first. Ruxin, aka the goat. I've been watching subscribe. Look at this handwriting. This is really good. Uh for a long time now, and I think since 2018. And I have to say, you are definitely the number one YouTuber. Thank you very much, Clint. Your channel is great. I love the daily videos as well as the variety of content. I'm going to be moving back to the Midwest from Hawaii soon. From Hawaii. Wow. And I'm just trying to thin out my collection. I do sell at expos and events as well as eBay. I can tell. I can tell that some of these came from expos. We'll talk about that later. And Instagram. Instagram. My previous Instagram was hacked, so I had to start fresh. There is a little bit of everything in this box. There's also five giveaways. Continue making the go. Five giveaways. Five giveaways. So this is what we're going to do for the giveaways. You can recognize some of the slabs. Yeah, I might. I did. I already went through the slabs, by the way. We'll get into that story later. Okay, five giveaways. We're not doing five for one video, just because here's the thing. Giveaways are a huge pain in my butt. Doing 365 a year. So doing extra five is crazy. So we're going to spread these out over the next few videos. Thank you, Clint, for providing all these giveaways. Let's start with number one in this one, because if I give away five different things in one video, I'm going to go, I'm going to lose it. So here we go. Let's do one thing. Okay. So this giveaway is uh goddess of whim. Uh oh, just fell out. We have blue eyes spirit dragon. We have alternative blue eyes spirits. We have red eyes. We have Daruma can and, and we have a Zaborg. Yeah, giveaways. Uh, there is one of my my second thing I was going to rant about. This one guy won a giveaway. He has messaged me like 11 times in a row after I answered him. And it's only been like 10 hours. He messaged me like 11 times in a row about the giveaway. So do me a favor. If you guys win a giveaway and I respond, I'm not going to respond immediately. So just give me a second. Like if you respond and then I don't respond for like 30 minutes, that doesn't mean that I forgot about you. That just means that I haven't gotten to it yet. So do me a favor and do not be the uh the spam reply guy because I, I he just added me on discord <laughs> he's like i think he thinks that i like went to mars or something i mean he's never gonna get his giveaway i don't know so more importantly like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below uh what you think about all these cards and make sure to thank clint because he sent us five straight giveaways which is going to be really great okay so apparently the reason that uh clint did this is he wanted me to autograph this actual pequeño moth like legitimate is that cracked time out is this is this slab cracked who dares crack the Pequeno Moss Lab? Did this just rip off? What in the world is going on? Hopefully it's not cra- It is cracked. No! Well, I would have re-slabbed this before I sign it, because now it's going to be cracked for forever, unless you want to just get rid of my signature, which you probably do, to be honest. All right, let's do this real quick, because this is an actual Pequeno Moth PSA 10, which I am jealous of. I have Petite Moth. I do not have Pequeno Moth. This is like- I mean, I don't know what the pop is, but this is pretty cool. So I am very jealous of that. Pequeno Moth has been signed. I mean, that is pretty awesome. He also sent the, I don't know. So this is all consignment. I don't really know. This thing broke out. I don't know if this was sealed before, but it is not now. I don't know if he just, maybe he bought it and it had like the back to it. So they kept it like that. The Duelist Calculator. Since it's already open, we might just take a look at it. I mean, this is pretty cool. It's definitely old. Check that out. Okay. Do a little Duelist Calculator. Is it? Does it even work? Yeah, there we go. Okay, five times six equals 30, everybody. There we go. I'm using the calculator in a hot minute. How do you, oh, percentages. Okay, off. I know that's clear. Okay, eight divided by two equals, and then you clear it like that. That's cool. Duelist calculator. I like that. That's pretty awesome, actually. I guess this will be consigned. I don't know. That's, that's kind of cool. Having that background. I mean, this, it looks like a Pharaonic Guardian blister. Use this official Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Duelist Calculator whenever you play the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG to effortlessly keep track of your life points. That way, if you have spirit of uh, whatever he's called with 1930 defense or whatever, and you attack into him, you have the calculator to work that out. The Duelist Calculator eliminates the need for math and speeds the game at the same time. Don't let incorrect calculations cost you a Duelist King tournament victory. Pick up an official Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Duelist Calculator today. That's pretty awesome, actually. 
All right, there are some singles that we're gonna go through. I told him that I don't, I don't really usually consign singles, so if there's anything, uh, I might pick it up myself. But I figure we'll look at them. Uh, but yeah, these are not gonna be available on my website. By the way, everything's gonna be for sale on ruxa34.com. Everything except the singles and stuff, but most of it's gonna be on ruxa34.com. So that'll be linked in the description. Go check it out. I don't usually do singles uh, or consigning like smaller cards because you know they're worth like five bucks. You know, you end up making five cents or something like it's not really like worth the time and the effort and everything. And after like fees, he's barely making anything and stuff like that. So, yeah. So if there's anything big, I might I might grab it myself and then just go from there. But I mean, Princess Koran ulti, that's pretty cool. Uh, Cosmo Queen, that's cool. The Magnet Warriors. I mean, there's some really nice stuff in here, but like nice stuff, you know, that's five dollars. It just doesn't really work for consignment. So this stuff will probably be sent back to him. And he can do whatever he wants with those. But uh, yeah, that just logistically doesn't work out. Stuff like that. Plus, I'm buying a lot of stuff right now. Like, well, you guys have seen all the collections I've been buying. We've bought a lot of collections. So, can't currently buy everything. So, unfortunately, that uh, one day, maybe I'll be able to buy everything. And then I'll just be happy. You know, just buy everything. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, and a lot of this is like... I mean, I don't even... I mean, all these like foreign... Like this. I mean, Frog the Jam. It's because Frog the Jam. This probably doesn't have much value in there. Uh, that's from that set that we opened up the OCG set with all it was a really cool set um, But I don't know. I don't even know how to buy it. That's really hard I got to look it up on eBay, but there might not be comps. It's pretty hard to value that kind of stuff. It's Japanese uh, That's a pretty cool card though. Yeah, and I honestly whenever I have these Japanese I don't even bother selling them myself So it, it's just a little bit too hard because you can't just go on TCG player and list it because that's a cool card uh, you know, because they don't have Japanese stuff on there. Could do eBay, but I absolutely despise using eBay because of how long it takes to list stuff. Like, I really want to use eBay a lot of the time, and then I go on there, and it takes me, like, 30 minutes to do, like, two listings. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go back to TCG, which I don't even use TCG that much at the, at the moment. We're using a lot of Ruxin34.com, which is really the place to go. All right, there's also a full booster box. This will be available. I do have a couple myself, so I think there's, like, two or three of these boxes available. Rise of Destiny, first edition. This one might not be hobby, though. Oh, it is hobby actually i think so another hobby box of rise of destiny so if you're interested in that i think we have them at 600 on ruxin34.com so go check those out there are a couple of packs i don't know is he... i don't know what the deal with these are but we've got some packs on here we got tune chaos first ed i i can't really sell like i mean i guess i kind of can but i have to list them as light so i will have to figure out what to do with these uh because if you just have like loose packs out of a box i don't know where they came from they got to be like Okay, these are complete like loose. Don't know where they came from, so that you can't really price them the same way. What is this thing? Oh, this is insane. Turbo Yo Yo free spin auto class. She definitely got the, these all these like random items from like one of those expos or something. There's more reason to know that he was in an expo too. Collect them all: Dark Magician, Exodia, and Yami Yugi. There's like three. Interesting. Light up. This is kind of awesome, actually. All right, then we have one more product for the PSA cards. We have a Light of Destruction blister. This one is a little bit open. I might buy this myself just because it's already open, so it's not going to be like sealed value or whatever. Because this would be just good for an opening, so I might check this out myself a first dead light of destruction blister but very very cool might see it in an opening all right let's get to these slabs so here's the here's the story here's my rant yesterday i was going through a bunch of collections and pricing stuff out you know to get people prices on what i was buying and then here i was trying to see like is this collection something that i can consign etc cetera, etc cetera. so i got to go through and look at all of them and you know price them out and stuff so i'm going through his slabs i, I can't show you an example because i removed them i'm watching the, i start like nick's playing the pacers basketball i don't remember what point in the game but i notice as i'm going through the slabs here's some of the slabs by the way that a bunch of them have these stickers directly by the way all these sleeves i sleeved up myself they were not sleeved before they had a sticker directly on the slab and not just any sticker they were like adhesive. You, I would have to take my fingernail, pick it all the way across like 10 times like this. Finally, it would come off. There would just be a giant square of adhesive on the slap. And I'm thinking, who in the world? I'm like, this had to have come from some sort of card show where they were like, oh, just put these stickers on the slab. No big deal. It took literally, I would take this microfiber cloth, Windex, and just go on the slab for literally like five minutes per card. And there was like half the cards were like that. Cause if you did it, it looked terrible. Like you could, it would be like right up, like it would be like right here. So there'd just be a giant adhesive thing. So you can't even see his face. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks so bad. So I spent over half of that Knicks Pacers game. So that's like an hour and a half. Cause that was like the longest game ever. An hour and a half cleaning those off. So now they look great. So shout out to me. I mean, 
it was a lot of work. And I'm like, look, if we're going to put these up, I'm not going to leave these prices on there that half of them were like crazy high. So I was like, I hope you didn't pay for this at this price. Yeah, it was it was bad. This is a PSA to you guys. If you do expos, if you do card shows, if anything, do not put those little things directly on the slide. Make sure you have a sleeve, then put it on so they can take the sleeve off, put a new one on. Don't do that because it takes forever to get them off and a lot of effort. So do not do it. Uh, that's my rant for today. We have evil here lining gold. We're going to go through all these cards. They now look fantastic. I cleaned them all up. I put them all in new sleeves. Dragon ice because that's what we do. Dark ball to the terrible. Fortunately, I had a bunch of new sleeves because I bought some recently. Limiter removal. We have this is a degree graded card. There's a couple of these in here. I've never done degree grading, but interesting to see that. Uh, Toon summon skull. We have thousand dragon that's from 25th anniversary we got the retro pack 2 common or rare i should say alpha the magnet warrior there's some weird cards in here that you're like why are these great and then there's some really big ones so it's an interesting combo here like 25 a lot of 25th anniversary cards were in there psa 8 cool nice and affordable uh number 39 utopia ray victor not victory just utopia ray ultimate rare first ed trishula this is a pretty nice card ultimate rare we have triple tactics thrust ultimate rare the blue eye shining dragon got a five that is brutal that must have been someone's childhood copy or something we have monster reincarnation there's some low grades in here as well first ed that's actually really cool uh metamorphosis not sure why this one got graded either maybe it was like gezi trying to get a psa 10 it's very off-centered so i doubt it was him but then we have the horn of heaven this is a portuguese this thing is so far off center it got the 9 oc that's how far off center it was they never do that anymore it was a recent one so that's actually really cool i thought they just said they weren't going to do those anymore ancient sacred 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 ancient sacred wyvern uh ultra rare psa 9 the MRD reprint, I think this one is a 2017 looking at it. PSA 9, so pretty nice. Volcanic Shell Ultimate Rare, PSA 8. That is a first edition. Triangle Ecstasy Spark, we have a PSA 9 Ultimate Rare. The number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon is really cool. Number 17 Leviathan Dragon, another really cool card. Not very expensive, surprisingly, for a PSA 9. So pretty cool card, actually. Swords of Feeling Light, this is a European first set LOB, so it looks great. I mean, honestly, I didn't even know that they were still magic on European because I thought it was a year later, but that's pretty cool. We'll take it. Uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. That's an ultimate rare. PSA 8. Keep in mind, everything's available on Ruxin34.com. So go check it out. Here's a Cash Tier Finrear PSA 8. There's one that got a terrible grade in here. Same Cash Tier Finrear. Uh, Scapegoat PSA 8. There's two of these ultimate rares. Mystic Swordsman Level 2. That is a near mint to mint 8 as well. Ultimate rare. That is a unlimited this would be great for like a go deck or something uh magician's defense this is a weird one <laughs> i guess because it has like the magician girls on it is why it's graded Barry magician girls a bunch of the the magician girls in here buster dragon psa 10 this is also kind of a weird one but it's a really cool artwork i just wish it had like a different rarity and then a beta the magnet warrior you know cgc 8.5 to go with that delta or gamma whichever one not delta gamma no not gamma alpha alpha that we had earlier all right kiwi magician girl we have exodia the defender thing we have red dragon archfiend psa 8 the galaxy eyes uh photon dragon ultimate rare first edition we have the total defense shogun psa 7 elemental hero shining flare wingman psa 6 that is not a great gray but it is a very cool card Cyber Dinosaur, PSA 5, Shonen Jump Magazine. This is a pretty classic card, though, so very awesome. All right, then we have Brand Infusion. Uh, Brand Infusion, again, both PSA 8. We have the another Portuguese card, Ultra Rare, Beast Skull Dragon. The Phoenix Wing One Blast, very cool ultimate rare card. If this was first set, I would buy this and crack it for my uh, Edison deck. Unfortunately, it's unlimited. Apple Magician Girl, very cool. Still a ton of cards left. We have the Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelcanth, first edition ultimate rare PSA 8. Sky Scourge Nor Norlas N Norlaris, I can never say that one right. Destiny Hero Diamond Dude, that is a four. That is one of the I think four is the worst grade we got. Uh, Dark Magic deck or that we have here, I didn't get it, but uh degree psa no degree 10 not psa 10 uh all nice pendulum grab this is such a weird one i looked this up this is like a two dollar card so it's a weird grade but it is a pristine 10 which is pretty cool so it's kind of weird to price that one we have a lieutenant surge's spiro seven point this is such a weird so this is called ambr grading they have a 7.5 and a b minus so they give it two separate like things so i'm like is it a like why have a b minus and a 7.5 like it's kind of weird but and it's also doesn't even look like it's graded it just looks like it's in a case it's strange. I was like, is this even grading? I was like, I guess it is. It has a score. And it's random. It's just one random Pokemon card. Beast King and Swamp. That's a PSA 10 from Tournament Pack 5. We don't have too many PSA 10s in here, so that's pretty cool. Degenerate Circuit 9. We have Dark Magician PSA 8. 
We have a seven from the perfect, perfectly ultimate great moth from Weevil Underwood. Doom Dozer, ultimate rare, PSA eight. You belt the loving defender. I guess he just thought this one was cool. Uh, not a great grade on that one. Uh, this is one, this thing had a sticker on it for $300. And I was like, that is insane. Like there is no way. Hopefully there was some negotiation because I think this is like a hundred dollar card right now. Or it must have been like when this was like a hundred and seventy dollar hand trap. But even then it's only an eight. So I was like, wow, that is an expensive card. Uh, this it will not be three hundred dollars on the website. Droll and Lockbird Ultimate Rare. We have Celtic Guardian PSA eight from Legend of Blue Eyes original print. Uh, Portuguese more of that thousand. It looks like he opened like one Portuguese box. Whoever this was. The thing is, I don't know if he opened these himself or if he bought a lot of them. I'm just I don't know. I really don't know. So very cool. I don't know where they came from. So I'm just kind of speculating. They really could be from anywhere, to be honest. But all the ones with the stickers on them, he had to have bought from there. I hope Clint himself didn't put the stickers on there. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt, Clint. But even if you did. You now know not to do that, so you're welcome. Evil Hero, Inferno Wing, five, and then this was a really cool one. DD Crow, Ultimate Rare, First Dead, Strike of Neos, really cool. I mean, it's a, it's Italian, so it's a little bit, it's kind of cool. Corvo DD, I mean, it's kind of sick. It looks amazing. This is one of the bigger cards in the set. Only a PSA 8, but still, it's a DD Crow. All right, still a few more. There's a lot of stuff in here. Another Thrust, PSA 9. Here's the PSA 4, Cash Deer Fenrir. That one got destroyed. Here's another PSA 4, Silva Warlord of Dark World. First edition, Chthonian Emperor Dragon, PSA 8. We've got the Super Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, PSA 8. That's an ultimate rare first dead. Lemon Magician Girl. I think there's another Magician Girl. Nope. Oh, this one's actually, there's actually not a lot of armed dragons available on TCG at the moment. I was looking uh, unlimited. So it's actually sort of a rare card, even unlimited. Armed Dragon level 7, ultimate rare. And then Heroic Champion Gandiva, another ulti. There are a ton of ultis in here, so that's the cool part, even if they aren't incredible grades. Another uh, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, which actually got a 7, which is better than the 5 we got before, but still not great. Here's a pretty cool one. Thunder Dragon Colossus, Gem Mint 10, ultimate rare. And with, you know, how it's back and everything, this is actually a pretty sick card. So that's pretty cool. And then there is a number C-104 Humble Horror Masquerade. That's also a first ed ultimate rare PSA 10. Rescue Rabbit, first edition collector rare gem mint 10. So here's kind of the big stuff. Slap of the Sky Dragon, that got a nine secret rare. Another big one coming up. An ultimate rare Stardust PSA 8. I mean, very, very cool. PSA 8 Unlimited Chaos Ember Dragon Envoy then. You guys know I pulled this a long time ago. This is how I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! 2018. So you the forget Forbidden One, PSA 9. Kiwi Magician Girl, PSA 9. Monster Reborn 25th Anniversary, PSA 9. The Left Arm of the Forbidden One, PSA 9, 25th Anniversary. Dark Magician, 25th Anniversary, PSA 9. A lot of PSA 9s from 25th. A Royal Oppression. This is a weird one. I'm like, who graded this? Must have been Gezi because this needs to be played. I mean, it's like a $15 rare. Then a card I've never seen graded, or at least I don't remember, Toon Alligator. It's actually pretty cool from Stardust Pegasus. Surprise this doesn't have, does this have another printing? And like foil or something? Probably should at some point. Whenever they make Legendary Collection Pegasus, that'll happen. Then a change of heart from Star Deck Pegasus as well. So that's it for the consignment. I also have three more cards I just put up on the website that I'm gonna show real quick. Snake Eyes Poplar, we got the Triple Tactics Talents as a nine, and then the Lightning Storm. So all that stuff is also available. So you guys can go check that out. The rest of it's all available on the website as well for consignment. So go check that out on ruxin34.com. Huge shout out to Clint for uh, working with me for the consignment. I appreciate it. And hopefully you guys learn to not put stickers on your slabs today. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Anessa Dianda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F, Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.